Hello class, it's uh, Russell Brown, and today I'm talking about how behavior and how it's evolved, how race, ethnicity, and sport has changed our culture and desires. Well, race and ethnicity, if y'all haven't read, and it is in the textbook that um, those two are about, they're the same meaning. And um, it has changed a lot in our world today, and especially in sport, because back then, like in Glory Road, as it said, um, it wasn't socially acceptable for black individuals and white people or Mexican, Hispanic, whatever, to be on the same court, same field, etc. But today... In today's world, as we know, everything's fine. Um, black people, white people, Mexicans, um, every race, every ethnicity is fine to be on the court. Um, in the textbook, as it says, um, it's more socially acceptable. Um, but as the discussion states, it wants to talk about how it has evolved. So back then, it was not okay, and there would be a bunch of racial slurs thrown out on the court or the field as people were playing, and um, that would affect many people's ability to play the sport. And um, today, NBA, MLB, NFL, there's a lot of leagues in this world that um, accept the fact that there are many adversities and there's nothing wrong with um, everyone being a little bit diverse. And um, it's what the world is coming to, which is how it should be. Back then, it was a little bit cruel. I don't know how that was ever acceptable. But um, today, like the, the MLB, like it was stating it on the test about the percentage of head coaches being black that that's rising um, as the years go on about how um, the MLB um, the amount of Latinos or um, Hispanics in the league <clears throat> and where they come from their heritage um, and the most most of the Hispanics and Latinos come from uh, Mexico and uh, when I was taking the test I definitely thought it was from the Dominican Republic because that that's that's where I hear a lot of um, talent comes from and uh, Cuba, Cuba as well. So the MLB is very diverse. And uh, when we think about the MLB, maybe we think about just Americans playing. But in actuality, it's every country, really. They all have the same opportunity. If you have the ability to play, you can play. And um, I, I really didn't think it was Mexico that had the um, highest percentage of... Um, I guess Mexican Americans or Mexicans that play because I th I definitely thought it was uh, Cuba or Dominican Republic, but anyways, um, that's about how race has evolved. And what's what's crazy to me is uh, <laughs> the amount of money each individual gets paid. So if you thought there was um, uh, a race problem and people getting paid differently because of the race, then maybe you're wrong, because, um, like Juan Carlos Stanton, he is one of the top paid athletes, and right below him is, uh, Bryce Harper, which is, uh, an American, and Stanton is not from America, but, um, that's basically how sports have evolved, um, they're accepting everybody from everywhere, they're just going about talent, and not really about their race or ethnicity, and that that's awesome about the leagues, NFL, NBA, MLB, whatever. But the cultures have evolved, and everybody's playing the, sp the sport just to play the sport, not, not just because of your race or ethnicity, and I think that's great. But yeah, that's basically what I have for today, and uh, this is my third discussion, and this class is almost over, and I'm excited. So uh, y'all have a great day. God bless. Thank you. My five minutes has been reached. Good night.